hello guys welcome to another session in this session we are going to look into error boundary so let's start our discussion so in one of our earlier session where i have discussed about life cycle method of the react component where i mentioned that whenever we create a class component then react offers of various life cycle methods that we have already discussed within that life cycle method react offers us two methods which will be used for error handling the first method is a static get derived state from error and another one is the component did catch so to design the error boundary we are going to use any one of them but prior to designing the error boundary we have to understand that what is the significance of error boundary or say why we are going to use error boundary so what happen whenever we are designing any application in react then we have to also design the fallback mechanism whenever any application get broke at the run time then we need a mechanism that will handle the error and that error we can display in the form of user friendly message so to understand this concept let's jump into the visual studio code to design error boundary and look into the usage of error boundary so we are into the visual studio code for this example i am going to create two component the first component is going to be the functional component where i will pass the fruit name as well as vegetable and it will check for is it a fruit or is it a vegetable if it is a vegetable then it will throw the error so we can generate the runtime error and after that we will design an error boundary that is going to be a class component that we will use it as a fallback component so that whenever any error gets occurred then that component will get displayed so let's start designing the component as usual i am going to create a folder over here and i will give it a name check fruit and within that i am going to create a file check fruit.js and in that i am going to create a functional component with the help of snippet rfc enter and this will give me the functional component i am going to create two properties with the restructuring over here this is going to be the parameter one is the fruit name another one is is it vegetable flag and this i am going to check if is it vegetable if it is a vegetable then it will throw the error throw new error and the message it will print it is a vegetable not fruit and if it is a fruit then we will print the message so let's write the name of the fruit now i am going to use this check fruit component in app.js so to use it let's call it check fruit the reference got added with the help of auto import extension and over here i will pass the fruit name it is going to be the apple and the another flag this is going to be false and close this one let's copy it and paste it so change the name and over here i will specify oranges grapes and this time i will pass potato and this time i will tell that is a vegetable save it now let's look into the output what output we are getting then we will find that it throws the error and and whenever any error been thrown that will break the entire react component tree so to make it user friendly i am going to design an error boundary and that is going to be a class component and which will work like fallback component so that if any error gets occurred that fallback component get displayed with the message so how to do that let's look into it so to design the error boundary i am going to create again another component that is going to be a class component and i am going to give it a name error boundary and within that the file which i am going to create is the error boundary.js and within that i am going to create rce the class component and this is going to contain a constructor so let's specify the constructor r const and this will contain a state called has error which is initially it is being false and this time i am going to use a life cycle method called static get derived state from error and this is being called whenever the error get and over here we will return return with has error true and over here let's remove the entire return statement and we will check that if this dot state dot has error if it contains the error has error then it will dis return the h1 tag with some user friendly message so we will tell that oops something went wrong save it 
so this is what our error boundary so how we are going to use it the thing which we required is we need to go to the app.js and here we will wrap the check fruit component within the error boundary component so let's look into that so here i have inserted it then reference got inserted with the auto import extension then close this one and take this closing part and put it over here save it now let's look into the output then we are getting an error that means we haven't handled if the case is normal that means if there is no error we are not handling anything so let's handle that so let's go to the error boundary and over here this is the scenario when error is there but in a normal case we have to also specify that if there is no error then we will return as is the react elements that is props.children we should specify over here now let's jump into the browser to see the output so you will find the same message as we are running into the debug mode but when it went to production then you will get such kind of a message so see here once we get the error then it throw the user friendly error with the fallback component which we are getting from the error boundary so let's proceed further so to prove you the point it is working as expected let's do an exercise so let's go to the visual studio code and over here let's comment out this error boundary this one as well let's save it and let's look into the output then we got this message and if you close this message then you will find that there is nothing to display so that means we are not handling anything over here but the moment we will enable the error boundary we will get the user defined message which we are handling through error boundary where we are calling the fallback component so let's revert it back so let's revert it back control z save it let's go again to the browser let's close this one then you will see it over here it printed the user friendly message so now let's proceed further so this mechanism is working perfectly fine but what i want that the error is within this component and apart from that there is no error in all this component so i want to display all this which is a fruit and there is no error whichever is vegetable there is an error so to do that i'm going to wrap each of the component check fruit component within the error boundary component so that we can handle individually the fallback condition so let's do it specify over here let's copy this one paste it over here paste it again over here we will specify that then over here we will specify it now save it now let's look into the output then come here close this one then we will find that apple and oranges we have printed grapes remain so let's do that as well so we haven't handled the grape cut this one from here paste it and at last this one cut this one paste it save it now let's jump into the browser to see the output so we are into the browser close this one then we will find that it has printed apple oranges grapes and the last one is the vegetable that the reason it printed the fallback message it printed the user friendly message which we are handling through fallback component with the help of error boundary so let's proceed further now so now we have seen that how to create error boundary and how to design fallback component so that whenever any error gets occurred then we can handle through the fallback component with the help of error boundary so this is what I wanted to demonstrate you in this session. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.